All right, so I started fixing this uh, A-Vision scanner, and um, I thought to myself, why not? Let's make a video and show people how to fix it. It's a pretty common sort of a scanner. Uh, it's made by a company called A-Vision. The model of this unit is called an AV220C2, and the fault with this unit, which they all get, every single one of these machines gets, is the page number, the ready symbol over here, it uh, goes dead, the machine doesn't turn on, or the lamp light here, which lights up the, um, the document scanning, um, it doesn't come on. And the peculiarity thing about these units is that the lamp that they have in it, it pretty much runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And you end up with these big burn marks on the plastic, which is from uh, from these lamps. So, uh, to fix the unit, all we've got to do is take out the screw here. The screw over here. Screw here. Screw there. Comes off. Like so. Oh, that, that, of course, is after you've pushed the uh, jam button and lets you bring the cover forward, of course. Um, next step is you've got a screw down here at the bottom. You've got another screw down there at the bottom. Uh, one screw in there. And that's it. Then the next step is this whole unit just simply comes out. Now when you're pulling this unit out, there are cables you have to worry about. So the first cable you have to worry about is this one, this ribbon cable, which plugs into the scanner module here. So it's very easy to, to tear this. So all you've got to do is just... You hold all the ribbon cables like this. You grab thumb, finger, and just simply pull it out like so. Back in. <coughs> You've got plug here, which goes into that socket there. You've got this plug here, which goes down in that socket there. Uh, You've got this plug here, which goes into this socket here. And you've got the cables on this side, which will plug into these sockets down here. Simply pull them all off, and then you can grab the entire scanner assembly and lift it out and away. The main circuit board that we're trying to get to. So you've then got to take this ribbon cable and feed it through. this iron core and then you've got a screw here a screw there one screw here one screw here and then this cover just simply comes up off and gives you the circuit board that you need to fix now the reason these things stop pairing up after a while is all due to the design of the thing and due to heat so you've got this little component here that's a uh, voltage regulator of sorts uh, what is that I'm trying to focus it yeah that'll be some sort of voltage regulator and you can clearly see this part is designed to dissipate heat. You've got a nice big metal grounding plate here which will also act as a And what this clever piece of design has done is they've put a capacitor which will be connected to the... Um, 
the capacitor and you can see there's a big bulge on the capacitor where it's just simply overheated and come out. So you need to change all the capacitors on the circuit board to do the job properly. So we're changing this one here, change this one up here, this one here, this one here, all these little ones over the side over here, all of these ones. And uh, you'll find that you'll have a perfectly working A-Vision scanner that will work for probably another 5 to 10 years easy until the capacitors that you've replaced have failed again just to, to this shitty design where there's a lot of heat dissipated in this section of the circuit board. So that's it. It's a very simple fix. There's lots of scanners like these out there. All of them get this problem within about 5 years of ownership. Um, have a bit of design to get you to buy a new scanner every five years but there's no need just change these capacitors and you'll all be good um all right quick one for today that's it i'll go and fix this now and uh we'll see how we go at the end